We've analyzed Tata Motors using Bard and these guys. They think they understand the market, but they do. They've been doing it for quite some time. So let's see who wins. But before that, I have a story to tell you about Tata Motors. While the investment analysts do the analysis, let's start with this picture right here. Look really carefully. Tell me who manufactured these trucks. You probably thought Mercedes, but it's actually Tata Motors. These guys have been building automobiles for a really long time. In fact, I can see Tata Motors supplies automobiles to the armed forces, but they've also made mistakes on the way. And like any company, they have some interesting stories. Like Tata Nano, the cheapest car in the world, was a branding disaster and caused a lot of furore in the market because one, they had banked and put a lot of research and money behind it. Two, it didn't work out. It was the pet project of Mr. Ratan Tata, but it didn't. And the second was actually Jaguar Land Rover. So stylish, so nice, so beautiful, but very expensive. And all that debt caused the company to have two issues. One, they were not able to service the debt because the growth was not happening in the sale of those passenger vehicles. Two, because they didn't have the money, the R&D spend basically went down. And this was a fundamental problem. And if you look at this list of all different categories of passenger vehicles and automobiles, you'll notice Tata Motors is not there in every single segment. Which meant around 2015, they only did sales of about 12 to 15,000 a year. Even I couldn't believe this. Dude, this That's very low. It's very low. Anyway, now they're closer to 75,000. That's a very big gain in just a short period of time. So how did that happen? I'd also like to say that the stock price is now going up. You see that right there? Is it going to make a new high? I don't know, but let's do the analysis. What's interesting is that Tata Motors is leading the electric vehicle race as well. But let's move on to the chart of... Security! Subscribe karo yaar! Why aren't you subscribing? Anyway, let's continue, okay? Please subscribe! And just like that shake-up, a bunch of things were happening at Tata Motors as well. These three things you already talked about. But N. Chandra Shekhar came and changed it all. So three things he did. First was that he introduced new vehicles for every single segment and also has EV. You know, for investors, it makes a lot of sense to do something cutting edge because it shows that the company is in it for the long, long, long term. And EV is a growing segment and R&D is now ingrained into Tata Motors for electric vehicles. It's also doing pretty well. Second, Tata Motors has the best safety ratings in India. I don't know if you knew this, but all the vehicles scored really high on the safety ratings. This was a good thing as well. And thirdly, they actually focus on debt reduction and profitability ratios. They even have a target of, what does it say? By FY25, a zero debt roadmap. And they care about efficiency and costs. These three things have made something change in what Tata Motors chart looks like. Right here. You see that? It's going towards an all-time high. But this story is not enough to do an analysis on Tata Motors. For that, we have those guys at the back. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to sit next to them. Prove to them that Bard is better than all these years they've spent on analyzing stocks. Are you ready yes. to see the power of AI? So, I'm going to open a Bard right here. So, let me put this as a prompt in Bard and see what we get. I'll say, let's do a quantitative analysis of Tata Motors financials using DuPont analysis framework. Okay, so this is what I got. So, first it explains profit margin, kya hai, asset turnover, kya hai, financial leverage. Kya hai. Let's let them know. Um, we have this. This is pretty good, man. So we have return on equity, 2022 versus 23, 10.2% versus 12.3%, which is pretty interesting. Profit margin bhi bada hai, uh, asset turnover uh, kam bada hai, and financial leverage kam hua hai, matlab debt kam hua hai. So this minute, is... Sir, ye data to pura galat hai. ROE is 5.58%, 
लेवरेज इज सेवन पॉइंट थ्री फोर वहाँ पे कब का टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री का टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री या नहीं कितना है आर ओ ही फाइव पॉइंट फाइव एट परसेंट आर ओ ही इसका हाफ से भी कम है एंड फाइनेंशियल लेवरेज इज सेवन पॉइंट थ्री फोर ओह दैट्स अ लॉट ऑफ डेट ओके एसेट टर्नओवर इज वन पॉइंट जीरो फोर ओह माय गॉड इट्स बाय टेलिंग जीरो पॉइंट एट प्रॉफिट मार्जिन क्या दिखाता हूँ It's interesting that it shows it inside a table, Tip. and then it just feels very, uh, I don't know, real. A काम करते हैं. It can say anything with too much confidence, I feel. Sir, एक काम करो. Growth वगैरह ठीक है, ROI वगैरह ठीक है. आप एक बार valuation पूछो. क्या पूछो? आप इनको relative valuation करने बोलो, comparing to the peers. All of them as an average, कि कोई company उठाना है, कि peers कर दें. Just peer average. Okay. So, um, okay. Can you do a रिलेटिव वैल्यूएशन फ्रेमवर्क विथ पियर्स इन अ टेबल लिख देता हूँ सो दैट वी गेट लाइक अ टेबल एंड ओके तो इसमें इट्स सींग रिलेटिव वैल्यूएशन ये होता है लोअर पी तो आई थिंक इट विल टेक ऑल ऑफ दिस एंड वी ओके वी गॉड इट सो कुल वी गॉड इट अगेन आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट द नंबर्स बट सींग प्राइस टू एक्विटी इज गॉन फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व पॉइंट थ्री टू फिफ्टीन मतलब ट्वेल्व पॉइंट थ्री वर्सेज फिफ्टीन सो इट्स अंडर वैल्यूड कंपेयर टू पियर Price to book is 1.25 versus 1.5 again undervalued. Sir, वो price to earnings जो आप बोल रहे हो ये तो गलत है ये भी गलत है. कितना है price to earnings? Sir, price to earnings currently तो 80 होगा. 80 पे चल रहा है. 80? हाँ. I think they, what they have done is they have just taken the last quarter numbers, whereas trailing basis पे P तो 80 है. नहीं but उसमें भी 12 आएगा. 80 और 12 में तो बहुत फर्क है. It's just analyzing the last quarter numbers. It's not seeing things pura. I mean, do you have peer? Do you have peer group numbers anyway? No, right? Do. Like I do. Do. okay. Do. What? What is it? What is it? So Ashok Leyland is trading at a PE of thirty six. We have Porsche Motors at ninety, SML Isuzu at eighty, Electra at hundred. So fifteen to be made, nahi yar. I mean, here peer group fifteen hai. तो वो तो लग नहीं रहा नो नो दैट्स ऑल इन एक्यूरेट दे हैव जस्ट टेकन द लास्ट क्वार्टर नंबर्स एंड एनालाइज्ड इट आई फील और आई फील समवन क्रिएटेड अ ट्विटर थ्रेड व्हिच इज नॉट ट्रू एंड दे जस्ट लाइक यूज्ड इट एज डेटा एंड इवन इवन द बुक वैल्यू व्हेन ईवी टू एबिटा इज रॉन्ग करेंटली करेंटली द प्राइस टू बुक वैल्यू फॉर टाटा विल बी अबव 4 आई थिंक या ओके सो टाटा हैज अ बुक वैल्यू ऑफ रुपीस 136 एंड द करंट प्राइस इज 562 सो इट्स इजीली अबव 4 इधर 2 दिखा रहा है एंड देन ईवी टू एबिटा इट सेज इट्स अबाउट 10 बट इट्स एक्चुअली 8 इट्स एक्चुअली 8 व्हाट डू यू गाइस थिंक अबाउट दिस दिस इज दिस सुपर डेंजरस दिस इज एक्सट्रीमली डेंजरस आल्सो कैन से एनीथिंग विद कॉन्फिडेंस इन पीपल जस्ट सीम टू बिलीव इट आई फील and the the biggest problem here is that by looking at this mm. you will think that the growth is happening mm. you will think that the stock is also cheap to chalo main khareed leta hu but one crucial thing that bard is missing out on is that bard has not uh, looked at the consistency of profit it has not seen how the debt has been managed throughout the years mm. so if I, if we come to the growth numbers okay. if we go down yeah Yeah, we can see that for the five-year growth rate, right. Tata Motor had a sales growth of just three percent. Oh, okay. That's low. And the compounded profit growth was minus twenty percent. It's negative actually. And these growth factors and these rates have not been considered at all by Bard. Tell me about debt as well. You said debt का भी history देखना चाहिए. तो yes. What do you see over there? So if we go to the balance sheet, we can see that the debt had increased at a crazy rate. It went from forty-five thousand crores in twenty twelve mm -hmm. to one point five lakh crores, three x in ten years. Mm. And did it reduce in two thousand twenty-three? Somewhat marginally. It did marginally. reduce. It it went from one point five lakh crore to about one point three four lakh crore. So that's a marginal reduction. However, the debt has increased a lot, right? So that was not taken into account by Bard at all. Interesting. Actually, I have a solution fact, to this. And in fact, in fact, also five-year stock returns have been flat. That's another point Bard is missing out. It's not giving us the complete picture. I feel. Cool. I think I have a solution to this, and I have a summary. Actually, let me explain what that summary is. We forget that Bard and ChatGPT and all of these are tools. They are not oracles. They're not going to tell us the future. Just like a strategy doesn't. Just like any new tool doesn't. Everyone feels a new thing when it comes will change everything. Like when the ATM came, we thought banking will change. When online banking came, everyone thought physical banks band ho jayenge. And then don't get me started on what happened with blockchain. People thought everything will change. 
Thama, Thama. I think what we have to learn over here is every new technology that comes is a tool, an aid to the actual human. If you don't understand trading or investing, these are not oracles they will not predict. Learn trading, investing and all of these things and use them as tools, as helpers. So nothing replaces human knowledge. Make sure the only thing you do is focus on your skill and never ever focus on getting any of these AI tools for financial advice. It is very risky. The information sounds confident because it's a language model. It sounds like it knows something because it's a statement. It feels confident. Don't trust it. Trust yourself, trust your own research. If you found this interesting and these guys did a good job, I hope this was useful to you. Tell us in the comments below. Smash that subscribe button, the like button and say what you want us to do. We can explore more about finance plus AI and decode this thing because at some point AI will be smarter. But right now, it's not here yet. See you in the next video. This is so jinxed, man. Punter party? तुम पहले रिएक्ट तो लोग बोलेंगे हो क्या रहा है ये मैं कुछ सीरियस बोलूंगा यहाँ पे बंद कर